My name is Michael Knorr, and this is Architecture Minute. This episode is about another iconic building in Washington, D.C., the Lincoln Memorial. Designed by architect Henry Bacon and built between 1914 and 1922, this iconic building is filled with brilliant architectural tricks that make it the iconic architecture it is. The National Mall is approximately two miles long. At the east end is the Capitol. In the middle is the Washington Monument, and anchoring the west end is the Lincoln Memorial. What architectural devices make this the iconic building that it is? The monument is modeled, as government buildings of the period always were, on classical Greek ideals. At first glance, it appears to be a Greek temple, but this building really turns classical architecture on its side, literally. The typical Greek temple is approached on the long axis, a processional approach that draws the participant forward, as in the Parthenon. Colonnades direct the participant toward the ultimate focal point, a statue of the god or goddess. In this case, it would have been Athena, namesake goddess of Athens. But architect Henry Bacon turned the Lincoln Memorial sideways, so we approach it broadside on the shorter axis. Why was this done? First, to dispel the idea that this is really a Greek temple. We don't worship our heroes, we honor them. But more importantly, rotating the wider elevation towards the mall makes it more imposing. By this device, over the two mile length of the mall, the Lincoln Memorial literally looms larger than it otherwise would have. It is more impressive when viewed from a distance. That is architectural trick number one. Notice that the Lincoln Memorial sits on a hill, making it even more prominent. This is architectural trick number two, because the hill is completely artificial. The basement, or foundations, of the memorial are built on flat land, actually on a drained swamp. Then earth was bermed around it on all sides, creating the appearance of the monument being on a rise. This construction photograph clearly shows the process. We see the foundation exposed before the hill around it was actually created. Imagine how much less impressive the Lincoln Memorial would be had it been built on flat land without being elevated as it is. That's architectural trick number two. Finally, modern architecture has an array of tools not available to the ancients. In this instance, the roof is filled with skylights hidden behind a parapet wall. This explains why the building does not have a pitched roof with gable ends like you might expect in any normal Greek temple. The roof appears flat because it hides modern skylights. Notice that below the functioning skylights are false skylights. This brings the interior scale down to a manageable level while still achieving the main purpose of the skylights to put emphasis on the great statue of Abraham Lincoln. That is architectural trick number three. The Lincoln Memorial is not just a monument to Lincoln, it is a monument to the ideas he espoused. To one side is the Gettysburg Address, engraved in stone, memorializing the idea that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth.